Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. Today we're looking at this Desk Lab Ultralight Portable Touchscreen Monitor. Uh, these are the latest things now, I think. This is the best thing since sliced bread, for especially for people who, you know, if you're a road warrior, I know right now in the age of COVID, we don't have many road warriors, but that time will come back again. Um, but, you know, it's great if you, you know, it, it would be great, and it is now, if you had a portable screen that you can use uh, as an extension to, like if you have a small laptop, uh, or even for your smartphone, right? Um, so this, um, it's ultra portable, we're going to see in a minute. And uh, it comes with, at the back of the box here, it says that Desk Lab is an entire suite of office and entertainment features packed into the lightest portable touchscreen monitor ever. It's your screen, it's your dongles, it's your charger, it's your speakers, and it's fully customizable to be whatever else you need. So get rid of the clutter in your briefcase or backpack. Desk Lab is all you need. Okay, so let's take this out of the box. So far it looks pretty good, packaged nicely. Okay, this is the monitor right here. Let's put this over here for now. What else do we have in here? Ah, so we have a power supply. We have uh, the a user manual. We have a looks like um, USB to HDMI uh, cable. And here we have a USB Type C cable as well. USB Type-C cable, we have HDMI, power supply, user manual, and I believe that's everything in the box. So here's the contents of the box. You have your cables, power supply, user manual, and of course the actual desk lab um, external monitor. Whoa, this loves this looks very sleek. Very nice indeed. Look at that. Hmm? Does that look like a really nice high quality monitor? I think so. So we have some, a protective screen covering here. I'm gonna keep it on for now. But you can see the desk lag logo on the bottom, and it is ultra thin, as you can see here. Very, very thin indeed. And here's the back. And along the side here, we got a couple of things. And there's something along the bottom as well. So along the bottom, I can see where we have our two speakers. So we have these holes on either side, that's your external speakers that are built in to this thing, or right there. And there are two rubberized feet right here and here, right? So it doesn't slide off the table. Now right here along the top, we can see we have a power switch right here. And there is this little rocker, right? Now, I'm going to double check, but I believe that this rocker is for volume. Or it's a little rocker switch, right? And here we have our 3.5 millimeter jack, which is very important. And I'm glad I have that because a lot of the like smartphones today don't have that. Along the top, there's nothing. This is nice, smooth. This is very nice and smooth along the top here. And on the side over here, we have uh, two USB Type C ports. And we also have a mini uh, HDMI port, right? And here, I believe that is a mini USB as well. So it's mini USB, two USB Type Cs, and one um, 
mini HDMI output port. Right, right there. So as you can see here on the lower left hand side of the screen, we have our power switch on the left there. And in the middle, we have a volume uh, controller. It can actually, you can actually push it up or you can push it down to adjust the volume. And if you press it, it actually activates the menu, right? It's a menu um, set, um, setting as well that you can activate by just pressing in that button. And of course, on our far hand right side, we have our 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And as you can see at the bottom of the uh, screen, we have the those little holes there. Those are the built-in um, external speakers. Um, cannot wait to see how, how well those play when I test this on some media. And here on the lower right-hand side, we have obviously a couple of interesting ports. We have obviously from the left, our micro USB port and you can use that to connect with a mouse or a keyboard and then right next to that we have a USB um, type C uh, we call it port zero and that's for your power and video and your audio input and then right there in between the two type C's there's a little LED and that's your LED light indicator when that's red that means there's no valid source and when it's blue that means it's detected a video source and that's that little dot right there in the middle. Now right next to that is another USB type C port which is also for power and video audio input and next to that we have our famous mini HDMI port and of course we know what that's for that's your video and audio input port. Now I strongly recommend that when you get the desk lab um, portable um, screen you get this accessory this is actually a screen protector and stand for it um, now, to install this, it actually comes with um, this set of adhesive strips. And what I'm going to do right now is show you how to connect your stand slash screen protector to your desk lab um, external monitor. So I'm just going to take these off here and position these strategically. So I'm actually going to use... strip on here like so doesn't have to be an exact science just maximize the uh, actually let me just use here use these two first on either side like that now the adhesive strip on this side like so and then one more strip down the middle here. Like so. So you have the adhesive tape there. The easiest way to do this. And put this on here. So we have the adhesive on here. But I, what you do, the best way to make sure you have it lined up properly you just put this screen flush with the bottom part of your screen protector and you make sure this can actually bend and it comes right over and then you just attach it apply pressure like so to your adhesive tape and here you have your all-in-one device see that's stuck there nice and neat now so as you can see, the screen protector's on, right? You can carry it around. It looks really nice too, right? Very nice and professional looking. It has this leatherette feel to it. And then yeah, to actually use it, you just open it up. There's a little magnet in the back here. There's a magnet between this uh, surface and this surface. It actually clips in place. It's not a strong magnet, but it... You know does what it has to do and you just pull the back like that and you have a kickstand like so right
Now, the first um, setup I'm going to do with this, I'm actually going to connect my smartphone um, to the screen because this is a my this is my Galaxy Note 10, uh, 10 Plus, and it's a very powerful device. Um, and this screen is an excellent accessory for my smartphone. Now, this desktop does not come in with a built-in battery, so I'm going to use one of the free USB Type C ports to connect in the power supply. And I just plugged it in, as you can see, the desk lab came up. Now remember, it has two USB Type-C ports, so I can use the other one here to connect to my smartphone, like so. So as you can see, the touchscreen works on here. And as you can see, we have, it has the very, you know, the good look and feel of a, a desktop, right? Um, and that's the Samsung DeX feature. Let me just take the screen protector off. So that's it there, as you can see. What I'm going to do now, I do have my Logitech. Um, this is a really cool Bluetooth keyboard. Um, this is the K480. And you actually have three modes where you can connect up to three different devices, um, including Android, Windows, Chrome, iOS, and Mac OS. So I will have a link below in the description where you can actually get this keyboard. But I've already paired it, so I can just put, and there's a nice docking area for your, your phone which you can go in there and as you can see I'm in now I have this OTG cable um, because in addition to the two USB type C ports there's a micro USB port at the bottom so I can connect that into my OTG cable here this port is actually designed for you to hook up your to connect your um, external keyboard or mouse so I'm just going to connect this cable this in here I do have my uh, Bluetooth radio here, my little dongle for my my mouse. And as you can see, we have mouse. So this screen is perfect for converting your your smartphone into a kind of like a desktop PC, right? And as you can see here, um, I have the you know the Note 10. Um, so when it's plugged in, it goes into Samsung Dex mode. I call it because it's a mode designed specifically for the um, for this uh, suite of phones, uh, where you can actually have your desktop experience. And this desk lab screen is the perfect accessory for it, right? All you need is a Bluetooth keyboard, and you can connect your mouse as well. And in here now I can access everything. I can go on the web. All right, double click here, Samsung internet, let me just agree. And here we are on the web, right? Here, so here is my YouTube channel here, so let's look at some sound. See how good the sound is on this thing. Alright guys, so here we have our Samsung Crystal UHD TU7050 Smart TV. Powered by So right now I have the sound coming through my phone, well, words. Um, I wanted to it, test it pretty much equates to a portable 4K television. So I can change your audio output here, let's see what options I have. This is a TU-70 by zero. Um, now this is a 43 inch TV. So I'm gonna, I can select the display device here, so let's select that first audio output. So you can toggle between the phone's output for sound. So that's this, but then I can go to, what I want to do is change it to the display device, which is the desk lab speakers, let's see how they sound. What we're going to do now is take out the box, we're going to set it up, uh, we're going to go through the physical features, the ports and all that lovely stuff. And then as I always do, we're going to turn it on, just go through the So the menus, sound quality? The sound quality of the desk lab, so the speakers are at the bottom, right? And what's good about the way it's set up is that when you have this um, case on it and it's on the stand, the speakers are not being muffled, they're not, they're not covered by the, the table, right? They actually do have some space, um, there's some space between the table and the speakers so you can hear the sound pretty clearly, right? So that's pretty good. Pretty good sound quality. 
So that's this is one configuration, and this is a popular one uh, where you can just use your turn your smartphone pretty much into a desktop solution, right? Using the DeskLab external monitor, and you just need a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. And what I love about the DeskLab, there are enough ports on this thing that you can hook up all of your accessories, right? Because there's two USB Type C ports. One has to be used for your power. But then there's another one that you can use to connect to, to your device, in this case my phone. And there's also a micro USB hub uh, port where I can hook up my OTD cable. And that's pretty much specifically designed for connecting your keyboard, uh, a keyboard, or a mouse. Uh, in this case, I'm using a mouse, right? So everything you see here, I'll have links below uh, where you can get the stuff. Uh, we can actually get your hands on these things. Now, what I love about this setup is that now you can have like Office 365 on your smartphone. You can pretty much be do a lot more on the road with with a smartphone and, and something like the desk lap screen here. Um, let me just open up. Um, so I believe I have my office suite on here as well. Oh, here it is. There's office. So as you can see here, um, you know I have, I'm in my Excel spreadsheet here, and you know it's it's a really really great experience as you can see here. Um, just you know, being able to access because I do have my um, you can Microsoft Office uh, suite on my smartphone, so you can access uh, and 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 all of your files, like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, whatever. And with the help of the desktop screen, um, you've pretty much turned your your smart device into a powerful workstation, right? So that's pretty cool. So let's now go to our next configuration. Now what I have here is a ultra mobile PC. Let me just turn it on here and this is really great for working on the road but you know looking at a seven inch screen after a while can be a bit cumbersome especially if you're dealing with excel spreadsheets and stuff like that so this has a usb port on the side here i'm just gonna hook it in and as you can see we have instantly uh connected our external uh monitor here so we, we are actually looking in this is the mirrored configuration but what I'm going to do is just change it to extended so I have actually two screens. And that's one of the reasons these are very popular. More screens means you can do more things. So let me just change that from um, duplicate to let's extend these displays. And keep changes. And... Um, okay, let's just cancel here. Now let us um, make this big one my main display. So let me just select that now. And there you have everything set up, right? So I have two screens, uh, but obviously with the larger screen here, you know, doing things like surfing the web and all that are much more easier. And, and, and even more so just doing um, Excel spreadsheets is a big one, right? Um, but yeah. So that's, uh, this is another great use case for this screen. Like when you have like small screen devices, like the smartphone that you just saw, or in this case, my UNPC, um, it's very easy to hook up. You just connect in your USB type C port, because this has one, hook one in there, turn it on and it automatically syncs, right? And it's, um, it's that simple, right? So here's my spreadsheet and as you can see, um this is great for just you know working on spreadsheets and stuff right this this is the perfect screen really helps you with uh when you're doing spreadsheets right this is perfect um and the screen is crystal clear i can see all of my information here this looks uh very very nice indeed so you know in addition to using this to like just enjoy multimedia this is a great work accessory for people that want to travel on the road. You have your small laptop, uh, even your smartphone, as you can see, as I showed you earlier, and um, you can um, do work. Now with this uh, HDMI cable that came with the desk lab, you can hook this up to your gaming systems. So here I have my trusty um, switch. So let's hook up my HDMI cable here. Take this out for a second. Hook this up to my switch. There you go. If I can 
use this for a while. I'm going to connect this into my don't need this cable. I can come out for now. This is the HDMI connection here. And here we have our Nintendo Switch hooked into our desk lab screen here. So obviously because this is in docking mode, I'm gonna use the controls out here. So now we have the PS4 hooked up to this and we're going to showcase the 4K capability of this lovely screen. Yeah, the 4K on this looks really good. This is very. Let's see how well it can handle, um, like fast-moving graphics. Let's see how well it. Let's see if there's any ghosting or anything like that. Sound quality is pretty good too. So these speakers, pretty, pretty good sound quality. So as you saw, that was a demo of some really supreme 4K gaming on my PS4, uh, hooked up to this uh, desk lab screen via H uh, HDMI connection. And as you can see, the gameplay was fluid, uh, you didn't see any ghosting, the screen pretty much handled this uh, PS4 pretty well. So in addition to just using this for productivity, this is a great accessory for gaming as well, right? Um, just in case you know you don't have a large screen TV to hook this up to, you can use this 15.6 inch desk slap screen. All right, pretty neat. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the versatile desk lab ultra portable touchscreen monitor. Again, this is 15.6 inches, and it has you know two USB Type C ports. It has a micro uh, USB port. Um, there's also an HDMI, of course, um, mini HDMI port, and uh, 3.5 millimeter jack your headphones and and I did it did I mention it was touchscreen as well I think I did anyway this is also a 4k monitor and as you saw from my ps4 gaming demo the graphics are crisp and delightful um, and you know I showed you all the different use cases where you can use like your smartphone or you can use like a, a PC to connect to it or you can hook up your gaming systems right so this is really cool 
Now, it does come with the external power supply to provide it power, uh, mainly because the devices themselves, like the laptops and the, the other portable devices, they don't have enough power to power this um, on its own. So you do need the external AC adapter. Uh, the cool thing about it is you do have two USB Type-C ports, so you only need one for your power. You have additional ports to connect all your peripherals, and that micro USB port is ideal for your external monitor, or I'm sorry, your external keyboard and your external mouse as well. All right, all in all, I think this makes a great companion for people who just need that additional screen without having to purchase one of those large uh, monitors, right? This is large a nice nice enough size uh supports 4k it also has the built-in speakers and the speakers sound pretty powerful uh uh well as well um it does not come in with a, a built-in battery so keep that in mind and you know i think one of the benefits of that is that it's light it's it's lightweight it doesn't really weigh that much it's very very light um right here i mean if i lift it up right it doesn't really weigh that much and i also strongly recommend if you get it you do get the cover that comes with it uh, because it, st it doubles as a stand and it also protects the screen when not in use, right? So you can get that accessory as well. I uh, recommend strongly getting that accessory uh, when you're, when you're, if you're looking to get this. Um, anyway, so guys, everything you've seen in this video, you will find links below in the description section. And uh, if you want to, you know, learn more about this, I do have a link to my blog as well. Uh, where I've done a bit more of a detailed uh, blog on this product as well and that should be in the link below this video as well so other than that guys let me know what you think about this particular product review now let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to review as well and even give your comments on this particular product as well let me know what you think um, good folks at Desk Lab um, have come up with a pretty innovative uh, product okay guys so until next time happy gaming and Stay safe. Bye-bye. So I hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you liked this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I'm appreciative of that as well. So thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, Happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.